Good morning, babies, and welcome to Simply Stacy, where the joy of the Lord is our strength. Well, I hope your day is starting off good. I hope you start off with praying and talking to your father, because that will set the tone for your day. Well, I want to talk about change this morning, because so many people are going through change. Change is a part of life. You know, a lot of people don't like change. They kick against change, but change can be your gift. Change can be something that you can become to love. Change can be a way of escape. There's a lot of things that change can be to you, but most people kick against change. You know, in the Bible, several passages on people that had to go through change. Abraham was one of them. God told him to leave where he was at to go to his promised land. You know, he had to, he had to obey God in several instances. That was a change that was a suddenly that, that that he had to make a decision to do it God's way or do it the way he wanted to do it or do it the end of his way. Babies, and change sometimes brings you to a place of the unknown. You know, God will tell you to do something. You don't know where you're going, where you're headed, how it's going to turn out, how it's going to be. You know, and that's the scary part. That's the part that brings the fear because you don't know what's going to happen. You know, you get comfortable where you're at. You get comfortable in your sweet spot. You get comfortable with the familiar. But God wants you to get uncomfortable so he can bless you. You've been crying out. You've been praying. You've been seeking God. You want to know where he's at, what's going to happen, when it's going to happen. But babies, you have to embrace change to see your miracles. You have to. Change has got to come for you to see your miracle. For the things that you want to happen in your life, you have to embrace change. You have to allow it to happen. Don't kick against the change that's coming in your life. It's taking you into your next season. Babies, you're first going to get the change in your mind. You're going to get the change in your emotions. God is going to begin to download into you. Some of you, he's already downloaded into you. Stop kicking babies against change. Allow the change to happen. Do you want your miracle? Do you want what God has promised you? You don't have prophetic word after prophetic word. And God is ready to bring those prophetic words to pass. But you have to embrace change. Because you don't want change, some of you have been stunt. Your growth has been stunt. Your promises has been hindered because you have not accepted the changes that God wants to perform in your life. Babies allow change to happen. It's a gift. It's a blessing. And I know it's scary. I know you don't want to do it. Some of you, it's harder for some than others. Some of you take change, like, really quick. It's, it's not an issue for you. You're used to change. You know, you're flowing with it. So just continue to allow God to do what he want to do in your life. Go with the change. That's where your miracle's at. That's where your blessing is at. That's where God is at. Babies, I love you, and so does God. Have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. And look at change as a gift, because it truly is a gift. You may not want to do it. It may seem like it's drooling, grueling, painful, but allow God to do what he want to do in your life. You've been praying for this moment. It's your time and your moment and your season. Allow him to bring the change. Go with the change so you can go into your next season. Mwah! Blessings and smooches, sugar woogers.